Okay, what I'm doing here is a quick instructional video on how to wire the Stinger 504L into your, or 504K, I believe, into your um, 2011 plus Ford Super Duty pickup truck. This is a 2011 Lariat, and it has a factory alarm, except the factory alarm doesn't detect for any shock or motion or anything like that. All it detects for is if you open a door or try to pop the hood while it's armed. What you need to do is that 504 sensor from Stinger has um, basic basic connections. It's going to have your power, your remote, your ground, and then it's going to have this blue lead coming off of it. This blue lead is essentially a negative impulse lead that's designed to provide a negative ground for a door or hood pin switch um, to set off your factory alarm if it detects shock. You'll see the shock sensor right up under here, which is right there. and. The problem that a lot of people run into on a Ford is that if you try to run this to the hood and connect this directly to your sensor, it's not going to do anything. It's because the sensor under the hood, let me get to that real quick. The sensor on your hood right here is actually looking, instead of grounding this wire, to break this connection. And that's your blue and orange wire that uh, that actually acts as your hood sensor wire. This other wire right here, you're going to ignore it's your ground wire. So the way of testing this to prove this to be accurate is if you hold this down, you arm your alarm, wait 25 seconds for it to arm, and then you cut that wire, your alarm's going to go off. So what we've done is we've wired the shock sensor to do that as well. So let me get back to that and I'll show you how I wired it. So the blue wire that comes off of your shock sensor, which is your negative wire, is actually going to go and it's going to go into your pin 85 slot of your relay. Pin 86, which is this yellow slot right here, is actually going to go to a 12 volt constant source and I have that wired to the battery. Pin 80, or sorry, pin 87A and pin 30, which are my white and black wires here, actually will act as the wire that um, creates the bridge between the, the actual uh, hood sensor. So these two wires are ran all the way to the hood and underneath to that sensor. One side will go on one side of the sensor, or on one side of the factory sensor, the other side will go on the other side of the factory sensor. And when the shock sensor is not triggered or in a resting state, it acts as if it's continuing that wire. When the shock sensor goes off, it acts as if it cuts these two wires, which in essence cuts the uh, the hood pin wire, setting the alarm off. The blue wire, this is pin 87, and it's not used. So again, the output wire from the alarm is going to go to pin 85. 86 is your constant 12 volt power supply, or constant 12 volt lead, which will go to your battery or a constant 12 volt source. Pin 87A is one side of your shock sensor up, or sorry, one side of your hood sensor up front, and pin 80, or sorry, pin 30 is the other side. These two act as your wires that cut the cable on your hood, uh, your hood sensor. So I'm going to go ahead and wire all this up, and I'll be back. So now I've held this hood, sen this hood uh, pressure sensor down for um, about 20 seconds, and watch what you'll see. I'm basically just proving to you what, what I'm talking about here. When I disconnect these two leads right here, the alarm's going to go off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect these two connectors, one on each side of there, and that relay I have wired inside the cab will do the same thing I just did. It will split that wire, thus sense setting the alarm off. Just as a quick little disclaimer, I normally solder all my connections. Unfortunately, my soldering iron was borrowed by somebody and never returned, so I'm using crimps, but I'm actually crimping it correctly from the back side, and I'm using some uh, nice Klein splices to actually do the splicing, and I squeeze them pretty dang tight. So I'll also be uh, wrapping everything in 3M33 uh, electrical tape to make sure the connections don't come loose. And there's not going to be any pressure on them, so I don't think I'll have any problem. But just so you know, for all those installers out there who are anal about that stuff. Okay, this little shock sensor combo for OEM, it comes with a little flashing LED light up here, which actually connects to your vehicle's ignition wire as well. So when it starts the vehicle, it keeps your, it shuts down the sensor to keep your uh, vehicle from thinking the hood's open. So everything's installed, it's wired in now. Um, I haven't cleaned up the mess yet underneath because I wanted to test it real quick. But what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm inside the vehicle, I've armed the alarm. I'm gonna hit underneath the uh, center console area where the shock sensor is just to see if it sets the alarm off with motion or with a uh, shock. So it did. So everything appears to have worked great. So I've added a factory sensor to my, uh, a factory shock sensor to my, sorry, an aftermarket shock sensor to my factory alarm. 
Um, just tested it, wired it up. Everything's to be pr seem pretty solid, so I don't think I'll have any issues. I appreciate you guys joining. I hope this helps you if you uh, decide to get this in your truck.